Hello, I'm Entrilisium, and welcome to a video of Bomber Crew Secret Weapons DLC. So, uh, as you might have guessed, Bomber Crew is getting a new DLC uh, today, which is called Secret Weapons, which is based in the, I think, big week in 1944, where the British and the Americans tried to make sure that, like, the Luftwaffe would get into a massive air battle so they could deplete their fighter forces. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, just gonna play around and have a look at it. So, for a start... I believe. Important parts. There is now a misty camouflage and, you know, some others. But misty camouflage is the important one. That's really loud. Everybody has festive jumpers and a tree. And I'm going to get out of here before that music gets me copyright claimed. Uh, and I believe there is snow later on, but not right now. Now, the way this works is... Give it a sec. There we go. You can switch between the main campaign and the secret weapons. So, in the main campaign, you've got the normal stuff. But in secret weapons, you have... Dusseldorf Fighter Production. Right ho, to kick off big week, uh, you'll be making the first strike against the enemy's fighter production. We've got wind, they're cooking up some experimental aircraft. So time is of the essence. Now, this is actually a new save I loaded up to do this. So, strictly... We're not in the... We're probably gonna die. Probably gonna die. Uh, but, you know... Why not? Also, got some new fighter races. Franz and Fritz Blitzer, Donna Kiel, and Nico Nechzara. So that's gonna go well. That's gonna be absolutely fine. Nothing could go. Let's do this. Oh god. No, we're gonna play anyway. We're gonna lose, but we'll play anyway. Because I just want to show you the new stuff. I I don't want to do an entire new campaign. Just at this, this point in time. Uh, okay, is everybody good? <gasps> Look! There's snow everywhere! There we go. I knew there was snow involved at some point. Right. We want to take off. Oh god, that's quite loud. If you turn that down. And then... Raise gear. And y'all are good. Okay. And we will fight them in the air, and we will never surrender. The point being that, um, at this point in the war, uh, we were kind of, like, bombing, um, Germany, and it was going very poorly. Like, a lot of raids ended up with a third of bombers getting shot down. Um, it wasn't going too well, especially for the U.S. Air Force, and, uh, I'm not sure about the British Air Force losses in 1944. But basically, the, the advent of new long-range unguided missiles to break up bomber formations meant that bomb formations had to scatter, so they couldn't be, like, closely packed, because, you know... Oh, well, where's the enemies? They would get hit by missiles. Well, not missiles. Missiles guided. Rockets are unguided. And so they'd have to scatter, and if they scatter, then they wouldn't really have the overlapping defensive fields of fire that bombers really rely on. I mean, in this game, I'm one bomber by myself, so I'm not exactly sure how that really applies, but whatever, you know. Oh, we're good. Okay. Um... And so, the Allies decided we needed to take out the German fighters. So, we could do that by either taking out the production, which we targeted, but we really needed to bring the current fighters to a fight. We needed to get them to appear and, you know, go against us and we could try and take them down. So, we organized a massive load of aircraft to go and bomb uh, big, important targets to do fire production in Germany, which they couldn't ignore, right? They would have to go and defend those. And that brought... Oh, hello. More fighters. That did bring more fighters. Where? There we go. Okay. Two o'clock low. Oh, God. Are these heavy fighters? They look like heavy fighters. The Germans found the heavy fighters work pretty well in an anti-bomber roll. I don't have a belly gun, because I thought that wouldn't be necessary. Ah, uh, I don't have extinguishers! I'm going to have to let that engine go. I don't have extinguishers to deal with that. There is actually, like, no extinguisher. You have to upgrade for that. Oh, they're optional recon things! You don't say! An engine's on fire! You don't say! 
That's our target. Let's do it. Yeah, that engine's just gonna break off. I, I've, I've dealt, I've dealt with that. I'm happy. I'm not happy. Do you get the point? Tor, can you reload? Yeah. And then I should have got like open doors. Should have got some extra. Where's the target? I see. I see. Uh, extra ammo and put it in the front and back, but I didn't because I was. Sick. Right, ready? Right, close doors. First off, get out of here. That's our objective right now. Those are experimental Doe 335s. Be careful, they're armed with 20mm cannon. Oh, God. That's not good. Yeah, 20mm cannons will put a hole in us. I mean, most bullets put holes in us for a soft shell aircraft, but you get the point. Okay, all I can do is just go and just hope we can leave fast enough. We are down an engine. How are we holding up? Vaguely okay so far, but I've now said that and we're doomed. I would rather get hit by the flak than have enemies be unleashed to like get under me and get my soft belly. Ow! Enemy fight a spot on the radar. God damn it! I'm trying to get out of here! Oh god, they're high as well. Stop being high! It's like illegal or something. Someone's out of ammo. Everyone's got festive jumpers at least, you know. They they look great. Festive jumpers actually give you some decent stat bonuses. For the price, I think they cost like 35 each. Come on, fly over the top, let us get a shot with that top gun. Just not getting any shots of the top gun right now. Very low. Now you're just showing off. They are very high up there. Okay. We need to just... We're almost there. Just need to get across the channel and everything will be fine. Ultimately, Big Week uh, was successful. Not a massive success because uh, there were a lot of losses. I think the Americans lost like over 150 bombers. British lost about 130. 131? Um, so there were, you know, significant losses during Big Week. But as a percentage, they were, you know, a 30% of every raid. Um, okay, this is going to be down for a while. And get rather chilly in those snowstorms. I hope your chapters wrapped up well. Uh, yeah, so if you hadn't guessed, there are now weather things in the game, snowstorms, which cause them to get colder rather than just having to rely on altitude. Oh god, fuel tanks are leaking. I don't have anything to stop that. I know I can, I can. I can balance it and pump into fuel tank one. Do the old fashioned way. I'm used to having like self seeding fuel tanks and all that stuff and armored fuel tanks. We're back at Blighty. Two engines out, one fuel tank leaking. But you know what? We did it. Let's go land. Pretty successful, I think. Considering this is like the starting craft, and they did warn, you know, you want to do a few missions first, I'm pleased with how that turned out. I'm less pleased with this ridiculous approach we're doing. There we go. No, okay, we're gonna go back and forth. That seems like... Yeah, that's how everyone lines up to land uh, in the airfield. Ultimately, the big deciding factor in getting rid of the German fighter planes uh, actually turned out to be a change in tactics, really. It turned out to be a change in tactics of fighters, feel free to range ahead of the bombers and then just pursue. Which, until that point, they'd have to be with the bombers at all times, and then pull back. To be fair, the new tactic was, oh, we'll actually send fighters with our bombers all the way. 
um, which required them to have extended fuel tanks, and also required things like the P-51D Mustang and so on. Um, but ultimately, it did prove successful. And telling them to be able to range far ahead so they could actually get rid of the German fighters before they could launch rockets, which, because they're long range, they were doing, and the fighters would chase them, and then they'd leave, and then the fighters would have to come back without doing anything. It was kind of futile. Also, by the way, all the names are from the Patreon list. Patreon support the channel, blah, blah, blah. Name list is a bonus and names. People always ask. That's why. Okay. And I got... You know, emergency death would be really useful there. Oh, look! Everything is snowy now! I was wondering. I was like, I'm pretty sure the entire place gets snowy. And we've got winter hats and woolen gloves. I want to see that before we go, because this is just a quick thing to look at the, uh, the new DLC. I do want to look at these winter hats and so on. Hi. <gasps> oh. Extra thermals. Let's match it to your jumper. There we go. Got a blue jumper. You need like a blue hat. There we go. Got to make sure they match. I mean, I don't know why I'm doing this, because, to be fair, I'm literally about to end the episode, but they- THEY NEED A MATCH, damn it! I think the gloves are just like... Oh no, they are wooden gloves, okay. Yay! There we go. Boots. That's the standard level boots. Okay, well, I've been Andrew Lissine. Thank you very much for watching the, uh, the new DLC for Bomb Crew. I believe it is going live, like, tonight. Uh, today? Today. Within, like, an hour of this video going up, I think. And, uh, you do have the new system of, oh, look, you've got milestones and stuff. Ooh, if we check the breathing, actually. There we go. One's done. Two. Jet fuel dump. The enemy is fighting back with more and more jet-powered fighters. Hitting their jet fuel dump should slow them down. Be careful. These things go off of a bang. I could do this mission, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to say that this, this is just me showing off the new DLC. And look at all this holiday stuff. Yeah. I've been at Relysian. Like, subscribe, feel free to comment on whatever YouTube requires these days. You don't have to, like, you know, whatever. It's down to you. Freedom to do the like button or whatever. But anyway, the point being, I've been at Relysian. Like, subscribe, and stay shiny.